Hello, I'm Screffy, and welcome to episode 21 of Playing Through Pikmin 4. In the previous episode, we pretty much spent the whole thing on completing Olimar's Shipwreck Tale, which, you know, basically a big mini Pikmin 1 in Pikmin 4, and with it all of the challenge and all of the nostalgia that came with that. And it's been great. And because we completed it, we unlocked this cave over here that contains the Trial of the Sage Leaf. Ten extremely difficult Dondori challenges. I've only made it past two right now. I've yet to discover the third. But before I do, uh, I'd like to go exploring a little more in the game's fifth area, the Giant's Hearth. And there, we're going to see if we can locate Louie. And, uh... And plenty of other stuff. Plenty of other treasures. So, let's take a look in the lab, see if there's anything I can't purchase here. I don't have enough for the Gunk Busters, and that is the largest purchase here. So I think I'd like to save up a little more for that. Because after that, it's easier to get the other items. But if I get the other items now, then it's harder to get the Gunk Busters. So I'll save up. And same thing goes with Ochi's puppy points. He only has two right now, and I'd like to wait until he has a couple more to purchase some of the, like, higher tier, more expensive upgrades for him. So, I suppose we're right on to uh, exploring. They don't call us the Rescue Corps for nothing. We'll find a way to rescue everyone and make it home together. Hello? Which area would you like to explore? We're going back to the Giant's Hearth. Only 14% complete. And uh, it's also quite the challenging area. But I'm confident we can uh, keep exploring and make some cool discoveries and hopefully lose few Pikmin today. Let's go. Okay, so, what was Louie doing here? Good question. But, uh, we managed to make our base at the abandoned throne. So this is like right next to the big hearth that, uh, you know, for which the area is named. And I think we could start climbing up there right now. There's a bunch of fiery dweevils surrounding the place. It's kind of a fortress. Um, but I'd also like to make it so that we can easily access uh, where we started. Which is over here. And for that, we'll need some blue Pikmin to turn off this sprinkler. But we'll also have to defeat this fiery Bulblack somehow. And then we'll need to bring red Pikmin over here. So... Yeah, that's a toughie. I think that's what I'd like to do first, so we'll start by heading over there. Let's get red Pikmin and blue Pikmin, which I think are included in the auto amounts. Yeah. Alright, everyone. Ooh, that arachnoid is on the opposite side. Which I could reach with Ochi, but do I have an easy way back? Well, I suppose I do if I defeat the Arachnode, so... No problem there. Still have a bunch of Master Hops over there to deal with at some point. Alright, let's deal with you. Easily. Now, this is not as easy. I definitely want to bring blue Pikmin. Wait! I have an idea. 
Of course, we could bring the fiery Bulblax into the sprinkler. And use it to our advantage. If we get him outside of his range, we can stun him and send a bunch of Pikmin at him. Perfect. There we go. Very, very neat. Very clever solution. Will you carry it without going through the... Oh! You don't know where to go without the sprinkler being off. No problem. We could take you over here while they build that sprinkler. We could at least clear out this, uh, this fiery dweevil. That's a way into the center of the hearth. And then this is a way up on top of it. Oh, hey! We could grab this banana. Oh my! Still not entirely sure how you work with regards to uh, how you damage Pikmin. But I certainly know how Pikmin can damage you. The spigot was completed, which was over here. Yes, so now we could bring fire starters over there if we wanted, which we do want to do, but the fire is all the way over there, so we have more... Yeah, we'll want to turn off more sprinklers before we can bring red Pikmin in there. Ooh, and we definitely want that. Yeah, there's a Dondori challenge in there. I think we could get to that before the day is out. Let's have Red Pikmin carry this. There we go. There we go. Now you know where to go. All right, let's take them one at a time. Try and draw them out away from the sprinklers. No sweat with Rock Pikmin. Come here. There we go. Yeah. Excellent. Now we could put blue Pikmin on that. There's the cave that we completed last time. And soon we'll have a way to get fire up here. I love the mechanic of grabbing fire and bringing it over, like carrying it across the map. What do we have here? Is that a peanut? Yes! Nope, nope, wrong type of Pikmin. I'm sorry. There we go. Nope. Come on, all of you can work on it. There we go.
Excellent. Okay, so now we grab a red Pikmin to go get that fire starter and bring it over here. Great. And from here, there's all sorts of plants that we can uh, that we can burn up with it. The bundled plants, that is. I don't want to torch the the flowers and such. <laughs> and one more, opening up the Dondori challenge. And look how happy they are! Hey, there's another one. Huh? It is Don Dory time! <laughs> They're completely consumed by the art of Don Dory. We've gotta free them. Well, no one better for that task than me. No one can... <laughs> no one can bring people out of the art of Don Dory better than the Don dory -less. Okay. Actually, other than collecting this tomato, we're good to start that Dondori challenge, so... Yeah, I, I figured we had other tasks going on, but... Let's just do this one real quick. And then head right in. Right at noon. Okay, as soon as we hear the tomato is transported. Okay. Aerial incinerator. Collect all the treasures. We get red and winged Pikmin. And there's more fire starter shenanigans. Okay. Ooh, and some treasures I haven't seen yet. Or maybe I have seen that one. I'm not sure. Anyway. Let's do it. <laughs> the better you're Don Dory, the more important you are. Good at keeping Pikmin busy. Good at Don Dory. How good are you? Okay. <laughs> Time for Dondori. Let's study the map here. So we can immediately convert some Pikmin into winged Pikmin. But here is locked until... Until we get a fire starter over there. Over here, that is. And there is the, the fire starter that we're looking for. So, I'd say yes, we can convert some red Pikmin right now. Then head over here, on Ochi if we have to, grab that fire starter, start spreading the fire, and convert some more into Winged Pikmin, because Winged Pikmin will be big time savers here. From there, we could also open this up in case we need to switch conveyor tracks. And yeah, really once we have that fire starter spread across the map, then the rest of this doesn't look so bad. Especially with seven minutes on the clock. I think I could end up making use of all of the candy pop buds as well. That's a lot of gold. Okay. So, yeah. We've got the Pikmin that we need. We just need to start converting and start getting fire starters across the map. Those are our priorities. Oh, I was too late. Okay. That's fine. Head over here. Okay, 
want to get this fire starter. Not on you, but on you. Good. Open this up. Not worrying about you yet. First we gotta get, well, yeah, that. And this. And then we could also do this. Oh, you stole my starter! I don't mind losing the starter for now, because we have more to work with. Okay, but we will need to gather some for that. Is that enough? Yes. But we have no red Vikman left, so let's go grab some. Winged Pikmin don't have to worry about the conveyor belts at all. Ooh. Oh no! Something's happening. Who's dying? The Puffy Blowhog! The Puffy Blowhog is dying. Apparently... Winged Pikmin don't know to save themselves from falling off the ledge. Okay, no problem. We can recuperate. Oh, that instantly downed them. Don't mess with the fire starter. Okay. Ochi, return to base. We need some Pikmin to start on that. We really need to open up access to the conveyor switch. Uh, but we can't go up there from that angle. Nor that angle. That's why we wanted it in the first place. Okay, this w this is this is not good. Oh, gee, you can carry that. I just have to bring this fire starter up here. There we go. Okay, what's left? You and you. Okay, you've got enough. Thank you, Ochi. We can head up here. Oh, Ochi's already fast enough that just regular walking uh, can run against those uh, conveyor belts. 
Oh, gee, you can carry this. Now I just need more Pikmin on here, so... Idler's alert it is. Still gold nuggets over there, too. How many? 31? That's too many. Ochi. We gotta get the rest of these Pikmin on those gold nuggets. not gonna work. Oh, <laughs> I can get off of Ochi mid-rush. I'm constantly discovering this stuff. Oh, please, please, please. I don't have any spicy spray. There probably was some available, but I think I might just barely make it. Oh, <laughs> another photo finish. Okay, that'll be one to retry later. <laughs> I always underestimate how difficult these will be because of the conveyor belts, when there's conveyor belts involved. Um, but the winged Pikmin, like, don't have to worry about them, so I should have uh, prioritized getting those last candy pop buds. And eventually I didn't even have time for that, so... That'll be something I do next time. It's all about getting Pikmin in the beginning. But I got it platinum. I could certainly do better, but I got it platinum. Incredible, Don Dory! It's shocking that you beat the record. Take these 30 pieces of raw material. You did it! Come on, let's get the castaway out of here, Scruffy. With all that leaf growth, there's no way to tell who this is. Right. No problem. Okay, so we'll transport them back to base here and we have half the day left so let's just let's explore some more let's let's see what's up on here if i find any more caves i'm not sure i'll attempt them quite yet oh wait i could open up that path Or could I? Yes. All I have to do is throw them up here. Oh, please come back. Thank you. <laughs> oh! And if we can score a lucky hit in time, please! I'm gonna check the Leafling's ID. Maybe this time I'll get lucky. No such luck. No good. Why do I do this to myself? Yes. Okay, great. Well, now we can go over here. Mm. Oh, Louie. What am I going to do with him? Sorry, Red Pikmin, but Rock Pikmin just outclass at defeating enemies like that. Hmm. There's more stuff to burn up. But there isn't really a... Well, there's a hearth there. Yeah, actually. I could bring fire over here. Inside the hearth. 
where it belongs. Not letting you get away. Yes. Perfect. That was the iridescent glint beetle. Uh oh. You're not going to notice, right? Okay, yeah, we're all good. That's another Pikmin population mission complete. Ochi, you can return to base. There we go. Another... It sounds like the melodic instrument, like, changes over time. Ooh, we need Ochi to ride over there. No problem. We'll go grab it. Ooh, yeah, because we really want to get up to the top. I'm very curious what happens if we collect extra Flarlick. There we go. The bull bear prowling around. Ready to notice my Pikmin. Ooh, another fossil. Oh, oh dear. There we go. Okay. No harm done. I realize now I'm kind of silly. The fire starter Pikmin can't ride on Ochi. So this was kind of a non-issue. I could have just left my Pikmin there. I could have, but I chose not. Okay, there we go. Great. The Paleontology series is complete. Interesting that they think of the, uh... Oops, I messed that up. They think of the... Uh, the little, like, sculpture and the little... Fishing lure as fossils. <laughs> There we go. Something, the cursor was being kind of weird there. Oop. Alright, yeah. We're approaching the end of the day here. Can Ochi make that jump? Yeah, for sure. Oh, look at this. I think this is some kind of hearth. There's another one! Today, we Dandori. Tomorrow, we Dandori more. Dandori today. Dandori tomorrow. Alright, newbie. Time to show off your Dandori skills to that loof leafling. Right, but... Oh, there's stuff that I could collect. Hang on. I'm 
surprised that uh, there's no fire damage from. Ooh, having trouble. Hold, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm not sure we have time for that. If everyone could just come to me. Let's send out a homesick signal. Because I don't think we have time to... Well... Can you guys come over to me, please? Okay, there we go. Okay, okay. All good. We'll deal with that tomorrow. Uh, I had some trouble wrangling my Pikmin there, but I really wanted to carry that stuff, and they couldn't get down without building that climbing wall. For some reason. Or maybe it was a ramp then. We'll come back for that. No problem. Look how excited Olimar is for us. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. We got a rescue. That's important. The paleontology series is complete! Very nice sparkly and bonus to that. Okay, we got another ice sword. We got the slipper bug fossil. The Disc of Amusing Wisdom, the Love Nugget, the Snack Bean, the Face Wrinkler, the Slapstick Crescent, and the Stately Rubber Cutie. All stuff we've encountered before. Except for the Slipperbug Fossil. Now we're 31% of the way done with the area, and for once, we lost no Pikmin today. I'm very happy to say. What kind of place is Kopai? I've always wondered. From what I heard, from what I heard, the population on that planet is skyrocketing. And if it continues at the current pace, they'll soon find themselves in a food crisis. Sad, really. That reminds me, we have to plan our provisions properly, or we won't have enough for our afternoon snacks. I'm pretty sure she stopped listening at the mention of food. <laughs> so, that comment implies that this is before Pikmin 3. Uh, and since Olimar has been going through the events of Pikmin 1, kind of leading to both endings, with both completing the dolphin and uh, being stuck on the planet as a leafling, I guess this game... They're implying that this game is taking place after Pikmin 1, but before Pikmin 3. Maybe even before Pikmin 2. Maybe this was just, like, part of the events of Pikmin 1. Which... Is really cool. <laughs> I, I I like how they're weaving it in here. All right. Uh, we've got a mission complete here, which I really want to get rewarded for. Your horticultural efforts have not gone unnoticed. The Pikmin population has bloomed thanks to you. Very good. There you are. All right. Thank you. I can always count on you to provide me some quick extra... Uh, raw materials, because we now have enough to buy the Gunk Busters. Now, it won't leave us with that much, it'll leave us with under a hundred, but at this point, I think I'm okay with that. I can recoup the difference if I need to. Yeah, no problem. 
And now, the subsequent purpose, purchases are not going to be as bad. So, next thing I'd like to do is a night expedition to cure this leafling we found. Um, and then after that, I think I'm going to continue the trial of the sage leaf. Let's see if we can get through all the stages. Not platinum all the stages. But that will definitely come later, because I'm not doing likely any of those on my first try. But... Yeah, just getting through all those stages and seeing what's what lies at the end. If the medicine doesn't work on Ochi, that just means I get to do more research. Where's our next adventure? Well, oh, there's stages at the giant's hearth too? Oh my. Okay, so we're really not done. But the next area is the second a uh, part of the hero's hideaway, the feasting center. This place is giving me the chills. Something exciting must be waiting for you here. <laughs> well, let's find out. You're awfully close to my base there. Oh, wait. No, you aren't. You're not too close. Yeah, okay. Ooh, something over there. That's a very large egg. What could that be? Hmm. Well, whatever it is, we've got to prepare by getting some more glow pikmin here. A lot of enemies. A lot of frosty blue uh bulborbs. Let's turn on this luminol as well. Who's, like, who's after, actively after? Okay, we have another Lumen, uh, Trick Knoll down there. Let's see if we can't get that. Now we need to return to base. What are you eating? Oh, the, the trick knoll, of course. Okay. Not a problem. It's just sheer wigs. No big deal. I'm more worried about the tougher enemies here. It's just a sheer wig. I'm sorry. Here, let's use Glomod. Oh. Oh dear. Okay, you're something very important. No way! Oh. That 
That's a smoky prog? Let's see, that, that means that the only creature that hasn't returned yet, that I haven't encountered yet, that was a, a, a beast exclusive to Pikmin 1, was the Puff Stool. I cannot believe, though, that I encounter the Smoky Prog in Pikmin 4. Uh, yeah, don't touch that, that red gaseous part, <laughs> for sure. As creatures go, that's sort of strange one, isn't it? Those eyes. I think it might be coming for the Luminol. Uh, I've got a lot of stuff coming for the Luminol at the moment. Smoky Prog is kind of slow, at least. Right into his mouth. We're gonna have none left for the Prog. I missed. Oh, jeez. No, please. Please. It's gonna run out of health. Oh. No. Well, that's a shame. You'll get it right next time, new blood. Hey, newbie. The captain sent me here. Need me to jump in? Uh, no, I... I'm gonna retry. And I might use some glow seeds for sure. Okay, well, don't get hurt. It'll be more of work for me if you do. Yeah, let's give that another try. We definitely need more than ten. So let's start out with an extra ten here. You're doing well, Ochi, but, uh, I need you to attack some of these creatures here. Like you. The earlier we can deal with all of you, then the earlier we can deal with the Smoky Prog. Okay. Some creatures are already on the hunt. You know, I might actually follow Russ's advice for once. Here. Oh, wait. Who have we got? Oh, dear. Okay. Um, I might set a mine next to the luminol. I only have the one. But if, if I'm not there for some reason, then... That will at least catch some enemies off guard. Okay. 
Now we need to head back. It's still only Shearwigs. It's gonna be fine. Making a big deal over these little bugs. No, the important part is... I don't want them using up the mine. Okay. Oh, the fact it's a, a heartbeat. And we get like some horror stingers. <laughs> Whenever the egg cracks, it's just it's so well orchestrated. Those eyes. Gosh. Ah, it was a mine and it didn't even work. Come on, Russ. All right. Oh, wait a sec. The Smoky Prog isn't even fooled by the Tricknel. Alright, I'll deal with you in a moment. Okay, don't worry about those. We need to worry about you. My. Okay, nothing more than a roar. It's okay. Let's try glow mobbing you. Just as long as you don't touch the back. Whew. That's it! That went way better. Okay. Fantastic. Not a single creature left standing, skittering, hopping. Honey. Amazing work tonight, as per usual. Got rid of that horrific beast. <laughs> Gosh, it's so crazy to see them again. The Smoky Prague. Amazing. I should have realized that's what that big blotched egg was all about. Because that's how you encounter them in Pikmin 1. You'll never believe what I saw, Olimar. Alright. Our leafling will be cured. Ochi's pup drive goes up a little. Okay, we, uh... We got a couple glow seeds back and then some. Well, look who's up and about. How are things going? Olimar? Why are you awake at this hour? I don't know. I just woke up, I guess. I'm interested in night expeditions. Is it okay if I observe? Oh, I'm sorry. Tonight's expedition just wrapped up. Bad timing on my part, then. I'll just try again next time. Yes, please. You're welcome to observe any time you like. Gosh. Okay. Right. Administer the cure at once. Yes, Captain. Ooh. 
Alpin, CEO of a telecom company from home planet Konohan. His boundless ambition drove him to expand his telecommunication business into areas like space travel, food, and entertainment. No. Our work doesn't end here. All right, well, what could you have to say? And where are you? There you are. Well, 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 if it isn't my little rescue pal. The name's Alpen, founder and CEO of a company called E-Leader. <laughs> that's, that's a pun on E-Reader. <laughs> but seriously, you're a real hero. I've got nothing but gratitude. Yes, indeed, it's an honor to be rescued by an up-and-coming hero such as yourself. And yet... I see that Mr. Fox, the fellow I traveled here with, has yet to be found. Hmm. Well, I'll make sure to rescue them as well. But, for now, it's time to head back into the Trial of the Sage Leaf. There's something in here. Either a castaway... Well, we know there's a castaway. The Sage Leaf themselves. But... Who knows, there might be something else awaiting us at the end here, and I intend to find out. So, let's get through all these challenges. Dig deep is the next one. There's a lot of, well, digging to do. Uh, and yellow Pikmin are the best at it. I, white Pikmin might be good at it? I don't know. And Ochi's certainly great at it, so... Uh, we'll, we'll send Ochi on a lot of these tasks. We only have five minutes for the whole thing. All right. I'm only aiming to pass. Platinum can come later. I have put great pains into creating this course. Make as many attempts as you deem necessary. Okay, Ochi, dig that up. That's not great. Ochi, dig this up. Gosh, this is a big space. Not too big, though. Uh, let me survey it. We m we'll probably need ice Pikmin to freeze this part. But we need to find some more. Okay, that's the outer edge. We don't have to worry about that. There's some more. Yeah, okay. So Ochi could go... Or one of us could go pluck those. And those. How do we even get up there? Yeah, how would we get up there? Oh, there we go. Okay, using that, we can get up there. However, that's too high up for Ochi. That's a predicament. So we'll need enough Pikmin to carry that. Okay, so we've got to prioritize plucking Pikmin here. Yeah. Okay, okay. Ochi, where'd you go? You can spit that out. Um, I need you to pluck these Pikmin. While I... Freeze that. Pluck some more ice Pikmin. Um, then you can pluck those Pikmin. Okay. 
And then... Go pluck those, Pikmin. Yeah, we'll get this done. There's so little time, though. Oh, dear. No, thank you. Oh. Multiple treasures, huh? They're not too fast for me. I think I'm probably wasting time here. There's no time to daydream! Right. Uh, come on. There we go. Oh, that's, that is enough. Okay, just under half the time left. I really need to get here. So that those Pikmin can start working on that. You can't work on that. Okay, that's fine. What could you work on, Ochi? Oh, those! Yeah, work on that. Ochi, dig! Okay, the narrow tunnel is complete. I have 45 Pikmin. I'm gonna bring everybody. Except Ochi... Can you grab that? I think you can. I think you can jump up there. Maybe? I... <laughs> we'll find out. Everybody work on... carrying that. There we go. Oh, Ochi can't jump up there. So I'll have to meet him with these Pikmin. not fall off. That's not enough. That's okay. Again, this is not about platinum. This is about passing the challenge. Put one right on Ochi. Is that everything? I think that's everything. Let's just make sure that this isn't treasure. It could very well be treasure. I don't think it is, though. Oh, shoot, it is! Carry like the wind! What's left? What's left? Is there something buried somewhere? Where? Ochi, where? Oh, I don't have time left. Hmm. Okay, there's two buried treasures somewhere. It seems you still have much to learn. The path to Dondori Mastery cannot be traversed in a single day. Well, we're restarting. Hello, this is Scruffy from the future, recording in post. So, I took ten more tries. Just stubborn to win it. And the whole time, I thought of this like a regular Dondori challenge, where you have to collect everything. 
when I really only had to collect treasures. But despite that, I did eventually win a bronze medal, and I'm here to commentate how that went down. First thing to do is, say it with me, collect Pikmin. So I send Ochi to pluck Ice Pikmin, while I render the area safe to pluck Yellow Pikmin. If enemies did count towards this, I would have no problem shattering this withering blowhog. The time saved, if you won a platinum medal, would more than make up for the lost Dondori point. Ochi then heads to pluck these out-of-the-way yellow Pikmin sprouts in the opposite corner, and I meet him halfway to deal with the next two enemies. The flighty joust mite, which would probably be more of a mistake to shatter, but I'm not really focused on that, and it doesn't really matter in the long run. And then, even flightier in my opinion, the iridescent glint beetle, which does matter because it harbors three dice treasures. Ochi really likes swallowing treasure, so I have to actually switch to him to get him to pluck sprouts, and the Pikmin can handle the dice. Then I send Ochi across the shore to pluck more yellow Pikmin. I feel like I can't have Pikmin not working for even a second here, so I set some digging up that grapefruit temporarily. Next, I need to cross the river to a creeping chrysanthemum, while Ochi has some white Pikmin to pluck next. Now for the creeping chrysanthemum, I could have it just eat two white Pikmin and it'd perish instantly. But I'm not some plutocrat who would willingly harm Pikmin for the sake of Dondori, so I face it the normal way, while Ochi puts his ten Pikmin on the two buried treasures on that ledge. I will admit, though, this battle took a while, and it stings even more in hindsight knowing that this foe's ten Dondori points wouldn't count for anything. But anyway, it's done and defeated. Now three Pikmin need to dig up the Searing Acid Shock in this dirt mound, and the rest of my army can attack the other Withering Blowhog, while I take these idle yellow Pikmin and get them started digging up a Velvety Dream Drop. They need passage to carry it, so in come some Ice Pikmin fresh from battle. Now Ochi goes to unearth a completely buried delectable bouquet, and my army defeats a very lopsided withering blowhog. I spent a bit too much time getting a single white Pikmin to carry it back. The correct amount of time was zero seconds. Now my army needs to dig that narrow tunnel, because Pikmin sprouts have been just waiting up there. But, foregoing better Dondori, I get some Pikmin started on these buried rubber ducks over here. I get a few Pikmin started on the tunnel. And then I defer to Ochi for the rest of the ground level treasures, since his digging and carrying are unmatched. I even stop carrying the ducks, and I unfreeze the rivers, just to have all Pikmin hands on deck. Ochi really can do all the rest, including digging up a secret buried D12, uh, here. No, here. So the rest of my Pikmin go to this tunnel, save one for the buried Cupid's Grenade. I've got one minute left, so Ochi just has to carry one treasure after the next. I finally get to these upstairs yellow Pikmin. And now I can hoist 50 Pikmin on that wayward moon. It's the only treasure that Ochi couldn't reach. 
With that secured, it's all over and done with. I will now briefly return you to the now exhausted Scruffy from the time of recording. Yes! Finally! I did it! Oh gosh. That was what, my... I think my tenth try? Okay. You've shown some doctory expertise, but I wonder, how will you fare next time? Well, let's proceed and find out. Now back to post-production, Scruffy. I started this next stage, Dondori Seas. Started scoping it out with the survey drone. And let me tell you, I slowly started to realize that none of this new information was sticking. My brain was fried from rerunning and trimming down the previous challenge. I really had dug deep. So I decided to save this challenge for later, when I had refreshed my mind. I think that's an equally important part of Dandori. You know, it would be inefficient of me to keep going on low energy and processing. So, let's wrap things up with the Scruffy from the time of recording. Thank you for listening. That's all I can do for now. I... That took, like... An hour. <laughs> so, uh... I'll come back for the other challenges. We'll, we'll start Dondori Seas next time. That I've really got to take a break. I don't know, Colin. I doubt the tales of my misadventures on the job would be any help to the rescue corps. I disagree entirely. I believe they could be a useful reference. Every little bit of information helps on this planet. All right, if you insist. First and foremost, you must understand that the schedule is the most important thing. Nobody appreciates late cargo. But the real challenge was learning to withstand long-distance travel and all the heavy lifting. Funny story about that. Uh... <laughs> I didn't want to hear your stories about freight management, Olimar. I want to hear about your time as a castaway. Oh, it's everyone always with the castaway. PNF 404 this, Pikmin that. Nobody cares about freight anymore. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm sweating. To even get a bronze medal on that challenge. I just had to completely synergize, and it's not even, you know, you'd need a minute left to perfect that challenge. So that really is the toughest of the tough challenges that Pikmin 4 can provide, in my opinion. And I haven't even seen all of the challenges yet. So, I'm gonna take a break there. I'll come back to, this, to the trial of the Sage Leaf. Um, but one thing that I want to do before even that is Train Ochi. I want... Honestly... Yeah, to, uh, to upgrade his rush to the maximum level. That will probably really help. So now... Yeah, you've got the most powerful rush you can have. Oh. Alright, I'll be back to it, definitely. But, for now... Come over here, Ochi. I'm gonna take a break. And I'd like to thank you very much for watching. I'd like to thank all my patrons on Patreon who help make this possible by supporting my work directly. And 
I will see you for some more Sage Leaf Trials in the next episode. Bye-bye!